Uh, my Mickey Mouse clock is at 6.30. We have a quorum. We'll call a planning board e meeting to order. And first up for general information, Mr. Dwyer. That would be whoever is named one plus Nord, which I believe are the people who are terribly backlit and we can't really see you very well. Can you move your uh, camera around? Oh, so there we go. Yeah. 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 So there we go. That's directly better. at the window. Close the blind. Sorry about that. Looked like the witness protection plan at first. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. What can we do for Good you? Good evening. Yeah, so I'm basically, I'm trying to, I'm um, getting my, uh, my dealer's license. Shoot, it's not happening. Okay. Who are you and what property are you talking about? Uh, my name is Jesse Ryan. Uh, he just froze. Okay. Seventy-one from um John Mitch. Seventy-one. What street was it? Seventy-one. Seventy-one. What? Lawrence Plain, Lawrence Plain Road. Okay. From John Mitch. The welding company? Yeah. And I, sorry, I caught Jesse, but I didn't catch the rest of the name. Reynolds, R-E-Y-N-O-L-D-S. Okay. Okay. And what kind of a license are you looking for? A dealer's license so I can sell cars. Okay. Class two. Yeah. Oh, class two? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Which is that? Is that the used cars? Yeah. So you're taking over the, uh, what's there already? Yeah, just a small part. Just like a part of the parking lot, not the whole place, but like. Like, so there's someone selling used cars there now. Are, are you taking over from them or are you going to be a second seller on the property? Starting my own thing. Okay. Yeah. So you're, going to have, so you're going to have two used car lots on the same property? Wasn't mm -hmm. the old one wasn't the old one done by Patty's husband Wayne who passed away? Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 They're all done and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. He unfortunately yeah, passed away. I talked to them a little bit about things and I actually bought two cars off them. Okay. And um, I'm basically just trying to, you know, just do, just try to make things happen. You know? Yeah. I think Wayne passed away from cancer about a year, year and a half ago. Okay. So you're going to, what are you looking for for vehicles or, or what are you looking to do besides look for use for a class two license? Um, not repaired, just like I got a few cars, like honestly, and just to basically I look on Craigslist and Facebook and like around the neighborhoods and stuff, and I just buy like regular cars. But how many vehicles are you looking to have on that property? How many vehicles are you looking to have for sale at one point and stuff like that? The details. Oh, just a couple, hopefully, like five, maybe. Well, we. We really, really like, we, we need to have an exact count of what you want. Do you have any account of how many you want to have? We, the so what's people, the maximum you would have out there? Maybe 10? Well, okay. And you're going to have them in the front, in the back, where are you going to be putting these vehicles? All the way in the back, yeah. Or, or back where the welding area is, so there won't be any cars yeah. on this? No, nothing, nothing, not at all, no. There won't be oh. any cars. There won't be any cars on display where the ice cream stand is. No, no, you'd, you'd be behind the fence. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm in the fence area. Yep. Okay. And is the welding business still operational? No, not at all. He actually, John is actually going through some medical um, situation as we speak, and uh, he basically. Um, we, you know, me and him really getting along and we just talking and he said that it would be a great opportunity. And I just want to try to make 
uh, you know, good life and everything. He almost had a heart surgery a couple of weeks ago, and the doctor said he wouldn't make it through the surgery. So, ooh, ooh. Yeah. so I'm going to suggest that we can be pretty informal here, but what I'd like to ask you to do is yeah. um, get us some kind of a sketch. Uh, you can even do it by hand on a tax map if if you want to do it that way. I think there may be a survey of that property somewhere of, on record, but if you could just sketch out where you're going to park the cars, of course. where you're going to have your office and, um, and bring that back to us because the, I, yeah, it seems like you're not quite sure exactly what you want to do. And you know, it's an existing site. I think we can work with you on this, but I think we'd like to get just a little more detail so that we know where things are going to be. We can agree they'll be inside the fence. And uh, um, I don't know if, there, if you have any work you have to do there to clean up. What? Uh, what oh, yeah, I do a lot of cleaning up. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, I've been doing that. And I rearranged a lot in... I have a, a helicopter picture actually of the like the whole layout and everything. Oh, that'd be good if that's something you could uh, email to us. Of course. Um, yeah, yeah that. Then, then maybe. And I got locks on the gate, and I got cameras and everything. And I'm trying to do everything legit as possible. Okay. Yeah, if, you could, if you could have helicopter picture of the site, you could even take that and just draw in where you want to put your cars in your office, like Mr. Dwyer said. That would be great. Is that an echo for protection, Jim? No. How would you want that? Okay, you, you said you had a helicopter picture aerial yeah. picture of the site? Yes. Just take the aerial picture and kind of draw in on that picture where you want to put the cars and where you're going to have your office and that information, and that would work. And email that to Mr. Dwyer at planning at hadleyma.org. Okay. I'll write that down now. It's uh, also on the town website, the, the oh, address for planning boy. Excellent. Planning at Hadley. 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 Planning at you know, we can do a what's called a waiver of site plan approval for you, but uh, you're still going to have to get your actual class two license from the select board. And uh, you probably have to talk to the building department uh, about um, you may have to talk to the building department. And it's nice if we're all working off the same picture. Yeah, I understand. Okay. We meet the first and third Tuesday of every month. And you can check the agenda by just going to the uh, town website and check the town clerk's uh, planning board agenda, and you'll be able to get on and sign on. And you don't need any formal uh, reservation to get on for this informal section of the meeting. Just like you did tonight. Right. Good. Okay. Any other And questions? I also have all, the, I have all the paperwork filled out and everything for the... Just like everything that we had um, from Jennifer. I have all the paperwork filled out. Okay. okay. We don't really need most of that information, probably any of it, because that's really for the, for, the, uh, for the license. You just need to come to us with that picture and where you want to put the cars. And we're usually pretty good. At, we should be okay with that. For example, if you printed a picture, an aerial picture, and you saw it showed cars already parked there. You could like just circle them and number them and say, here's where I'm going to put 10 cars. You know, like if it showed. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. So very good. Okay, we'll see you in two weeks. Yep. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. And next up we have KLQCR. That's me. Bruce Jenks. Are you able to hear me? 
Yes, we yes. Can hear you fine. Yes. I just I didn't see a speaker thing on my end, so I didn't know. Um, I'm just here, I guess, to address some of the concerns that were brought up on the seven five meeting. That I saw after the fact, and uh, and and in speaking with Tom uh, Quinlan, the uh, enforcement officer. So I guess I'm just here to just try and uh, have a better understanding of what we're doing, so that you guys have a better understanding of what what we're doing as well. Um, at the last at our at our first meeting, I didn't realize. Um, that there was concerns over the food truck and the beer truck. So I guess I'd just like to knock these things out one at a time if I could, um, starting kind of with the easiest. Um, first is um, Mr. Dunn made some comments about our parking in the field. Um, we have a pretty busy scoop shop. Um, it's becoming busier and busier. And we were having cars park along uh, the far side of our field, um, actually on the edge of Mill Valley Road. So what Gordon Smith and I did was we decided to mow a section of the field that was typically used for corn. Um, it's now about, I would say, if you can estimate three telephone poles long, probably about 800 feet long and about two car depths in. And because we can't meet in person, the best thing I did is I took a picture today of where cars park. So I don't know if you can, can you see these pictures? So this is, are you able to see that? Yeah, no? Yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah. this is the road. The cars pull in straight forward. What it allows them to do is to either spin around or we have two different exits that they can go out. Now, clearly this gets a little bit more crowded as uh, whether it be a Saturday, Sunday, Friday, that type of thing. But what we thought was uh, Mill Valley Road has turned into a bit of a racetrack 